When you come to CPAC, you meet the best and the brightest. One of my favorites, he's an economist, I love him for that. He's got a PhD in economics, admire him, he's brilliant. He's also brilliant in understanding God and theology. Love him for that as well. I loved him as a congressman. I loved him because he beat the incumbent and showed that the Tea Party had real teeth and real power. And now he's at Liberty University and I love him for that. He's a dear friend. He's Dr. Dean David Bratt at Liberty Business School. David, it's great to have you here. Wow, that was an introduction. I love Kevin, I love him back. He's commanded to love me, so you know he's going to love me anyway. But uh, those comments are very warm from a dear friend as well. And so thank you for having me on the show. Well, you're a smart guy. We'll, t we'll be talking economics, and then we'll jump, and we'll be talking Greek philosophers, and then <laughs> right, we'll jump, right. and we'll be talking good. Bible. Yes. I love all of it. And you're right good. on all these issues. Oh, that's good. Fra good. Frank you, are, you are too. I just had Frank Gaffney. I said, you're right on almost every issue. And he said, I want to know what I'm not right on. Yeah. I said, if I knew that, I would tell you. Right, no, you would. Because right. I, I think I'm right on most issues, yep. but I don't know what I'm not right on. Right. That's Nobody right. Nobody knows what they're wrong on. No. Yeah, no, that's, what, that's wise, man. So how's CPAC? Are you enjoying it? Well, I love it. I get to catch up with friends like you, and this time down in Dallas. And I met a bunch of our co-buddies uh, yesterday uh, from down in Dallas. And... Uh, Making friends for uh, Liberty and uh, you know Dallas just culturally is just. Did great, you get great to visit fit. the Liberty Hawk Ranch? Did Mike yes, take you there? Yes, yes. I saw the whole. I saw the the big rooms, the small rooms. Everybody. Uh, if you ever get a chance to get out to Liberty Hawk and all the financial advisors, uh, uh, make sure you get on our program with Kevin and, and Liberty University, training in uh, financial advisors on investing your values. Uh, we have a big CEO summit coming up. Uh, Kevin's going to be there and. Uh, the, a bunch of like-minded people are going to be in the room uh, doing the right things and uh, aiming this country in the right direction again. It's amazing how the people in business, the liberty-minded people in business, are yeah. coming together yeah. and saying, I want to do business. And a lot of that happens at your school, Liberty yeah. University. I mean, you're a yep. thought leader. And you're bringing, you have solutions for Africa. You have solutions for energy. You have solutions for CEO. I just love what you're doing. Yeah, well, and uh, you know, I mean, it's, uh, it's a start. Right, but like what you you were you've been doing this for decades, and it's a start. But now your work is all bearing fruit. It's growing exponentially now, and now everybody's seeing it. And uh, I think uh, China's shooting missiles this morning, and things are uh, getting to the point that the, uh, the the middle class is waking up. We've got inflation. We've got debt up to our eyeballs. A failure in Afghanistan. We, we, we've, we're, we're on the verge, a cusp of losing Taiwan potentially. Right, right. But it's not just Taiwan. Uh, it's all of the other things China is doing yeah. beyond yeah. that. They, they're yeah. acting as if they're at war with us, right. probably because their economy is failing. Yeah. And you and America is still investing in a lot of firms that are doing uh, business, not just with China, uh, but with uh, China's arms dealers who are making weapon systems for China that are aimed at us. I mean, it has gotten so perverse, and uh, I kind of like the golden rule, right? That we're, we share the same Judeo-Christian moral backdrop, and the reciprocity, right? We hoped, you know, we set up the whole Bretton Woods liberal order after the war, and uh, we fed two and a half billion people. The Chinese and the Indians are now, you know, moderately, uh, moderate incomes instead of total poverty. So we did a great thing for the world, and now we're getting, are we getting thank you? We're not, we're not getting any thank yous from the CCP. No. Uh, instead, they're taking our good and turning it into evil, right? They just want one system, and they want total power. After we've set up this miraculous uh, run, and then we, we were gullible and too, too innocent, and uh, you're, you're drawing attention. It, the, the way to solve this is by redirecting our pension funds, our assets, our investments. Financial planners are key to this. And uh, the problem is the average American doesn't know where your money is invested. Once you find out, you will be horrified. And so uh, look up, you know, Kevin, I hope you're all watching Economic War Room, but uh, he, he's just gone through it all with all the experts you want to hear from.